The Las Vegas Raiders are gearing up for an offensive revolution under their new offensive coordinator, Cliff Kingsbury. Cliff Kingsbury was the previous head coach of the Arizona Cardinals. Before that, he was the head coach at Texas Tech. And before that, he was the offensive coordinator for Texas A&M, where he had that brief stint with Heisman Trophy winner Johnny Manziel, where they just tore up the SEC on the offensive side of the football. Cliff Kingsbury is known for his innovative air raid offense. Kingsbury brings a high tempo, pass heavy approach to the Raiders, shaking up the traditional dynamics of the Raiders offensive playbook. We've been so used to the pro style offense under Gruden and under McDaniels. We're definitely gonna get a different style scheme under Kingsbury. And in this video, we'll just delve into the key aspects of Kingsbury's air raid system and how it might shape the Raiders offensive game plan next season and the moves we might make in the off season. So really the foundation of the air raid offense is the 10 personnel formation. Cliff Kingsbury's air raid offense is synonymous with the 10 personnel formation featuring four wide receivers and one running back with the Arizona Cardinals they led the league in amount of usage in 10 personnel and this formation just aims to create tempo and exploit mismatches against opposing defenses by deploying speedy wide receivers on the field and then just just the thought process too of getting more wide receivers out there you're trying to get one-on-one -on -one matchups and exploit that now this quick paced high tempo style offense typically limits stuff that you do pre-snap when it comes to motions, when it comes to shifts. Essentially this just helps simplify the process during pre-snap which just allows the offense to execute plays faster and more efficiently. If you can simplify what you have to do before the start of the play, well then you can run like a no huddle offense a lot more effectively. Another element to this offense is the empty sets and the just overall mobility with the quarterback. Now Kingsbury has often utilized empty sets with five receiving options. The success of this formation is closely tied to having a dual threat quarterback just like he had in Arizona with Kyler Murray. The current Raiders situation lacks a legitimate dual threat quarterback at the moment which may require adjustments in his offensive scheme or they will simply just go after one in this offseason which I think would be a smart decision. Nonetheless Kingsbury's history suggests an openness to adapting his system to the roster's strength and specifically to the strengths of his quarterback. You know, listen here to what quarterback Patrick Mahomes had to say about Kingsbury when he was asked about this a few years back. Let's take a listen right here. It's someone who's taught me a ton. He, he got me kind of out of high school where I was a baseball player trying to play football and basically trying to be on my own. You go, you're leaving the household and kind of being on your own. And he helped me become uh, who I am today. Was that your junior year? Were they sort of the first on board? They were, they were really the first and only because I, I didn't get recruited by, by much. I mean, I got a couple other offers uh, from uh, some smaller schools. They were the one school and I, I credit, credit to Kingsbury. He was the one that came down, saw me, talked to me. Things you can quantify, things you can point to to say, hey, here's how he helped me? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is you see it with a lot of young quarterbacks is whenever they get to a coach, they kind of try to restrict them and kind of make them be this model of how, how the quarterback position is supposed to be played. And I think he was early in the game of just saying, hey, let's let's maximize your strengths. He would teach me here and there how to kind of be more mechanical and get in the pocket and the fundamentals of the game. But he didn't he never restricted who I was. But it, it was something where I could have went somewhere and they could have tried to make me this pocket quarterback. He let me be who I was kind of on and off the field and it helped me become the player that I am. So as you heard Mahomes say, Kingsbury did do a good job of adjusting the offense around the skill sets of a Patrick Mahomes. And that's what I like to see from our offensive coordinator. I hope he can do that with whoever our quarterback is gonna be next season. I'm not a big fan of, you know, offensive play callers who are so strict and so insistent on players and quarterbacks executing their style offense and essentially molding them into what they envision them to be. So definitely excited about that. Another element is, you know, the running backs in the passing game. Uh, a big part of the air raid offense under Kingsbury involves running backs in the passing game. They, you typically don't see running backs in his 10 personnel stay in pass protection. They usually get out and get involved in the passing game. And right now with the current running back situation with the Raiders, Josh Jacobs is the only one that stands out as a legitimate receiving threat. And even then he's not really known 
for that per se and at the same time i mean he's still technically not under the roster we'll just have to see what happens with the josh jacobs situation so the possibility of drafting another running back with you know similar skill sets when it comes to catching out the backfield is very much still on the table kingsbury system excels at quickly distributing the ball especially in empty sets creating one-on-one -on -one matchups and exploiting the weaknesses on the defense you're typically going to see the quarterbacks and get the ball out quickly in those empty sets now with arizona in his playbook they did start to use a little bit more pre-snap motions later into his tenure with arizona they also use a lot of quick screens and plays that can really just help utilize the dynamic skill sets of their receivers fully. Rondell Moore was a prime example of this in Kingsbury's previous scheme. He was a speedy type of wide receiver and as soon as he got onto the roster, he started to use him a little bit more in pre-snap motions and getting him more involved that way. Jet sweeps, stuff of that nature. And what I'm really excited about under Kingsbury could be the emergence of our rookie wide receiver Trey Tucker. He could find himself in a similar role with his explosive playmaking abilities. I think Trey Tucker could become a crucial asset in the Raiders offensive arsenal, especially in the 10 personnel formations, which would likely mean he will start being on the field a lot more frequently than we saw last season, which should be very exciting news for us because I love his skill sets and his ability to stretch the field vertically. Even if he's not going to get the ball, just the threat of him going deep is going to force safeties to respect that and play over the top. And of course, if they don't do that, if they ever run cover zero, then the big play opportunity is definitely there with a guy like Trey Tucker. Now, when it comes to the run game, typically there's a lot of zone reads, RPOs, and he also got a lot of yards from the scramble drill. In the run game, I mean, Kingsbury favors zone reads out of the shotgun formation and they also ran quarterback design runs especially on empty sets while also getting some undesigned runs from just the playmaker ability that kyler murray had using his legs in the scramble drill and as i mentioned before i mean the raiders currently do not have a quarterback with the running prowess of a uh, kyler murray so i don't really see how aiden o'connell could fit in like those empty sets and running those type of plays so something to definitely keep in mind but i just almost guarantee that we're gonna get a mobile quarterback here in the offseason now another interesting element to the run game for this offense would be the addition of the rpo or the run pass option which is something i haven't really ever seen from the raiders offense the run pass option just grants the quarterback the flexibility to hand it off to the running back or exploit a favorable matchup with his receiver essentially the rpo allows a quarterback the option of handing it off to the running back or hitting his receiver based on the reads that the opposing defense gives him the blocking up front is going to show that it's a run block so as an opposing defense you're going to typically guard it as a run but if the quarterback typically is just one read if he sees a matchup that he likes then he can exploit it and hit the wide receiver instead so his experience with you know scramble drill plays rpos zone reads alongside a young dynamic quarterback could really add an interesting dimension to the raiders ground game and just their offense in general now another thing i like is just the wide receiver talent and just the potential this offense has the good thing about the raiders is we have an impressive core of receiving talent already you know featuring the likes of Devonte adams who is arguably the best wide receiver in all of football he can play on the outside he can play in the slot he can run every single route on the route tree so there's a lot of things you can do with him and then jacoby myers last year emerged as a very solid number two option we of course got speedster trey tucker and then we even have hunter renfro who has shown that he can be a very good slot wide receiver now he's been very quiet the last few years and his future is uncertain but just in general we do have good weapons we also got Michael Mayer at the tight end position, who's another player that has the potential to emerge moving forward into his career. And just the versatility and depth at the wide receiver position just gives Kingsbury an ample amount of tools to craft a dynamic and unpredictable offense. So overall, when it comes to the air raid offense, this is essentially the vision of the Cliff Kingsbury offense and how it could be incorporated to the Raiders offense. As the Raiders navigate uncertainties at the quarterback position, 
Cliff Kingsbury proven ability to evaluate and develop quarterbacks brings a sense of optimism in my eyes from the launching of Patrick Mahomes career him definitely having an influence on him becoming the quarterback he is today which you know that's the best quarterback in the league he was also able to get Kyler Murray to play at a high level at one point he was an MVP candidate and just Kingsbury track record suggests that he has a keen eye for quarterback talent and I think that's going to be huge going into this NFL draft where it's loaded with talented quarterbacks so I'm definitely very excited about that. Now the Raiders offensive future appears promising under Kingsbury, innovative and just the dynamic approach, setting the stage for an exciting offseason ahead. Now is his offense perfect? No it's not. I mean one thing that kind of concerns me is you know cold weather football late into the football season. How will that be under this air raid offense? Because I also don't just want to be like a pure finesse football team on the offensive side of the football because when you get into the playoffs, especially if we're on the road, I mean, you're going to have to play in these cold weather areas where throwing the ball a whole lot of times may not be advantageous. And typically come playoff time, the officiating is played a little bit different. So I definitely want a certain element of just the toughness and the ability to just be able to pound the rock when we have to. His offensive scheme is definitely not perfect, but at the end of the day, no offensive scheme is, no coach is perfect. Really what's most important to me, what I'm looking for in our offensive coordinator is somebody who is a modern day play caller, and that's definitely what Kingsbury is. There's also been reports that he has great work ethic, and just most importantly, I'm looking for somebody who's versatile and can adapt when needed, especially when the offense is struggling, unlike what we saw under John Gruden and Josh McDaniels. So I think it's just crucial that Kingsbury adapts and adjusts to his scheme and most importantly to adjust his base on the quarterback skill sets on our offense, which is something I definitely believe he will do. Now, who will the Raiders target this year at the quarterback position? Are they going to go after Justin Fields, a Jaden Daniels, Michael Penix Jr., try to trade up to the number one overall pick for a Caleb Williams? I mean, who knows? I mean, I would definitely be excited about the ability to get Caleb Williams. He did spend a year under him at USC. Hopefully he's got that good chemistry and connection with him. Maybe this could help Caleb Williams kind of push his way out of Chicago. But you know, that's just pure speculation on my part. We just have to be prepared that the Chicago Bears trade may not be a possibility. It just really depends on what Chicago wants to do moving forward at the quarterback position, if they're gonna continue with Justin Fields, or if they feel like Caleb Williams is somebody they can't pass up. But Raider Nation, the Kingsbury Air Raid offense in a nutshell, let me know what you guys think of the hiring and just the offense in general. And for anybody that's new to the channel and you guys love Raider related content just like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.